the Bible says at midnight Paul and Silas prayed they sang loud enough for the jailers to hear them and suddenly there was an earthquake it rattled the foundation of the prison and the Bible says immediately all doors how many doors financial doors relational doors all doors career doors all doors open turn it into prayer Lord open doors for me open doors for me let it be clear that I met you come on pray while you are seated pray open doors for me you can open doors career doors I have been stagnated open doors for me if I depend on men shame will be my lot but my God and my King you are able to open doors outside pray inside pray open doors for me look up from the jawbone of a donkey to the rod that parted the Red Sea to the worshippers leading the army in the days of Jehoshaphat to gathering them ten thousands and counseling them according to the advice of Jethro Moses's father-in-law down to Jesus making the people to sit in fifties and hundreds and using five loaves and two fish from a young lad that Andrew brought do you not see that the victory of believers all through the Bible is not just prophecy dependent it is strategy dependent God is speaking to a businessman it is true God called you to that business but you will keep failing until strategy comes strategy is like the battery that powers the clock of your destiny have you seen someone buy a new clock new clock a wall clock and there's no battery there the clock has potentials and yet it cannot move it cannot work for someone you came for koinonia tonight not necessarily because you are sick in your body you're not trusting god for healing per se but is that your life you are you be marking time from january till now you need strategy when it's time to pray pray this with all your heart when god began to speak to us about carrying this apostolic fire to the nations i went to god in prayer and i said god there has to be a strategy these things need finances these things need the participation of nations you are stepping into nations with different policies different biases the world is no longer a safe place it's not enough to just give a matching order what is the strategy can i tell you it's not god's responsibility to spoon feed you with the strategy strategy is a product of hunger it is your hunger that drives you to stay and say i will not move until it comes i have received the prophetic word i have re received the green light but send me the strategy god told moses go to pharaoh and advocates the exodus of God's people. Moses said, mm -mm, not like that. I know Pharaoh. I know Egypt. I was born. I live there. What is the strategy? And he said, take that rod. Now it's the rod of God. Wherewith you will do wonders. And Moses said, that's fine. Let's go. Let this be your prayer point all through the remaining part of this conference. Let me tell you the truth. Many people do not truly love God they think they do but I tell you by the authority of scripture they do not they just want to use him because they've been wounded by life and they want to show that they are successful there's pressure coming from family coming from society will you not rise will you not be great I want to be a millionaire I want to be a billionaire I want to be this there's nothing wrong with those desires except that if the end of it is the marketing of self you will never secure the attention of heaven i tell you this by the authority of scripture you want to secure the attention of heaven let your sincere desire for the anointing be beyond yourself and beyond your ministry 
Lord, I see many people who are sick, wounded and broken by Satan. I see many people going back to the devil and going to herbalists. And Lord, I pray that you can trust these hands of mine, frail as they are. May your glory rest upon them that they become the extensions of your healing power for the nation, for your glory. That is the kind of prayer you will go to bed and wake up with an unction you cannot account for. God will move through you in a mighty way that you cannot explain. Lord, I see confusion scattered around your body. Would you grant me the spirit of revelation that I can bring clarity and understanding of doctrine and scripture. I desire this because I do not want an army you are raising to be deceived. That sincere desire will grant you access to the fountain of revelation. Lord, I'm trusting you for millions, trusting you for billions. The reason is because it is within my heart to sponsor the work of God. I, I have agreed with you that by next year, I want to overwrite, I want to write off the entire bill for the next conferences that will happen in Victory Life Bible Church. I want to tell the man of God, just focus on the ministry of the word and prayer. God has raised me for your sake and raised me for the work of the kingdom. Until we find such people, we will never be able to reveal Jesus to the nations. The carnality of our pursuits is why we don't secure the attention of heaven. It is not that the pursuits themselves are wrong. It is that we have so connected those pursuits to the marketing of self, the marketing of flesh. Say Father. Father. Shout it, say Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Strategic doors in this season that i must enter anyone here that the hand of death is upon that you will not enter 2020 to ghana prayer groups prayer cells people with mantles that will pray the program of god not everybody women who understand the art of the altar and men who can pray i don't know who that person is but i stretch my hands from here may that mantle of a prophetic intercessor right now let it fall upon you Parakatoskiata, help them let it fall upon you i release upon you the mantle of a watchman the mantle of an intercessor the grace to stand upon your watch in the name of jesus over territories There are destinies, there are men who have been held by the power of witchcraft, kept down so that they do not move. The horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, against Judah, and against Israel, so that no man will lift up his head. But tonight I come as a carpenter by the power that raised Christ from the dead. At the count of three, everyone here who is a victim of ancestry bloodline witchcraft orchestrations of dark power it must let you go right now Ghana are you ready to shout in the name of Jesus after the count of three one two three shout Jesus shout Jesus shout Jesus now release your destinies now release your destinies now release your destinies now bring them out in the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall upon every manipulation of witchcraft, every orchestration. Please help the ushers, whether you are an usher or not, bring them out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I release your destiny tonight. Excelling. How am I supposed to live and work in this place? Nobody likes me in that office. Perhaps I'm the only believer. Ask Daniel. There was a strategy given to Daniel that made him to succeed in Babylon. Babylon was not his house. It was not a favorable place. It was a place of idolatry. And yet Daniel excelled. Don't say it's the job. It is the absence of strategy. I feel tempted to ask you one more time to cry. Lord, show me the strategy. What is the strategy for tomorrow? 
what is the strategy for doing ministry profitably such that God becomes glorified in and through my life what is the strategy for doing business God's way now that you know to bribe and to steal and to be corrupt is not God's way have you received God's strategy he made known his ways to Moses don't just celebrate prophecy don't just celebrate vision you must stay to receive the strategy one minute you are praying there is a kind of Jesus the nations are looking for I read a book years ago as I wrap up by T.L. Osborne the message that works there is a message that does not work there is a gospel that does not work there is an another kind of Jesus that is being sold to the nations is the reason why they are rejecting him we have sold a powerless Jesus we have sold a Jesus that erodes creativity and erodes intelligence and removes our brain and freezes it we've sold a Jesus who is anti-influence we've sold a Jesus who is anti-well-being of people we've sold a Jesus who makes a man a responsible father as an unbeliever and an irresponsible one when he gets saved and the nation said this portrait of Jesus I do not want but God is looking for a people who will represent Jesus present him again correcting the anomalies that have come from that that you can show people that people don't come to Jesus and go be delivered now oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory uh, hear me I'm hearing in my spirit, rebuke the spirit of untimely death. The spirit of untimely death. Ah, there are families here. Every year someone must die. Patterns of death have been sent by the spirit. I want to declare now. The Lord is asking me to do something very prophetic. For these groups of people, you don't have to bring them out. There are prophetic intercessors. Hold that gentleman and just keep him there. There are prophetic intercessors, hear me? Men and women who will begin to rise from... I declare them open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I declare them open. Everyone pray, be serious. Online pray. US pray. Canada pray. Kenya pray. South Africa pray. Ghana pray. Lagos pray. Every door. Strategic doors relational doors financial doors spiritual doors sabraga baga barakatash laga prataka parakatos kebrandaka baka parokatos take a minute to pray all doors open in this season all doors open in this season open of your own accord open unto me open for a new season open for greater influence open for greater kingdom impact all doors open strategic doors open relational doors open in jesus name we pray in Jesus' name we pray. Be seated for one minute. Strategies. Who told you your business cannot rise? Who told you the reason you are suffering is just because rates are high? While we sympathize with those things and we pray that things go down, but it's not the truth. That's not the reason. There is a strategy behind the prophecy that you will be a house owner. If you don't get the strategy, the prophet, you, you will become mocked by that pro that that. Moses, you are going to be a deliverer, but make sure the strategy is known. Moses did not know the strategy, so he killed an Egyptian by inventing his own strategy. He was a deliverer, but because he did not have a strategy, he took initiative and that cost him a lot. 
it is dangerous to use your own strategy to try to bring God's vision. Using your own strategy is another way of giving your hands to Satan and say, change my destiny. It's not only prophecy you should receive. Who is God speaking to today? I believe someone, you came to church tonight. This is your miracle service. You are a man of God, no doubt. His grace is on your life, no doubt. You copy blindly, you will suffer as if God did not call you. You have to stay. What is the strategy? There has to be a strategy for my joy, a strategy for my peace, a strategy for my rising, a strategy for my... down. Did you hear what I said? People don't come to Jesus and fail in life. People don't come to Jesus. We love him beyond the benefits, but the benefits help to shout his name and to shout his praise. Oh Lord our God, he says, how excellent. Can I tell you, you are a better Christian being prosperous than not having anything. I assure you, because in your prosperity, you can bless people. You can package Jesus through love and serve the nations. You are a better Christian when you are healed and healthy, agile enough to serve him than a sick defeated one. You are a better Christian in a position of influence where you can defend his purposes using an elevated platform. I'm saying this so that in receiving Jesus, you must understand the implication of what you are receiving. When you say I receive Jesus, you also mean I receive anything and everything under God that can make me promote his name. You don't receive Jesus and reject prosperity. Something is wrong with your understanding. You don't receive Jesus and reject healing. Something is wrong with that understanding. You don't receive Jesus and reject longevity. Something is wrong with that understanding. Everything we receive that comes with Jesus are the defense systems that help us to make the nations know that he's worth receiving. Salem Berekete Brakatoska Bris, Sabranda Berekoska, Agrapeta Berekete Berekete Paskatiata. Go ahead and pray. Without a strategy, even though prophecy may be there, without a strategy, even though vision may be there, victory may be far from you. Take a minute to pray. You are investing in your destiny. Let a man of God pray. Let a champion pray. Let one who is tired of his current location in life and destiny pray. Open my eyes, oh God. Let me see. Open my eyes, oh God. Let me see. The strategy that brings me to a wealthy place. The strategy that gives me rest round about. The strategy for increase in ministry. Rest round about. Send it, oh God, from heaven. Someone pray. There is a strategy. God will never give you an assignment without the strategy. You were not patient. You were not patient enough to stay till the strategy comes. In Jesus name I pray. I'm praying for someone. Your life will make someone's prayer life come back to life. Your life, the excellence, the overflow of the life of Jesus through you will make someone who has hitherto been unserious with God to get back on track with Him. You will make loving God marketable. You will make serving God marketable. You will make living for Jesus marketable table that if someone wants to say you serve God and fail God brings your image as the defense he said no this man he served God and God has lifted him this is the correct portrait of what I can do are we learning don't waste your experience with Jesus just being happy that I am saved with nothing to show forth in your life and now there are many people who do not know that the average believer has a mandate and that that mandate is not only to receive the life of God receiving the life of God is only one half of it the other one is to allow that life flow flow to the nations flow to people if I lay hands on a sick body today someone who's been diagnosed of cancer say and the person gets healed what have I done 
I've not just sold myself as an anointed man of God. That is the very latter part of it. What I have done is that I've demonstrated the victory of Jesus in experience. For every healing, every manifestation of prosperity every advancement and success is beyond just showing that men are doing well it is a message to creation you are speaking defending the interests of the kingdom that he still died and rose again it is true when a sinner like the many who were born again yesterday when they come to Jesus it does not just show that a man of God is anointed That you will go back home and even though there is nothing before you you begin to dance because the strategy has come God has shown me how to do ministry and win God has shown me how to raise my children and win God has shown me how to live in Abuja and win in America and win in UK and win the way of the winner is the way of the spirit the way of the winner is the way of the spirit did you hear what I said Truly. Should I pursue? And he said, pursue, overtake, and without fail, recover strategies. Why are you crying unto me, Moses? Tell the people that they go forward. Stretch forth your rod and speak to the Red Sea. Cause it to part heater and teeter and let the people walk on dry ground. Strategy. If it be thou, bid me come. Come. Again, I refer you to a statement that God told me years ago. He said, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. It is true. If you will let men see me. When God told me this thing, I almost had nothing. When if you will let men see me see me through your rising see me through the excellence that emanates from your life see me through the manifestation of God's power you see the temptation that befalls all men is because like I said yesterday the average African comes from a wounded background so there is already a project to prove a point by default that is what motivates your going to school that is what motivates your getting money that is what motivates your desire for promotion and in itself is not wrong except that it can hurt that kingdom come project later on because you get to a point where your whole life is about proving points i am successful can you see it and if anybody there says no you say i will repeat it again i will shout it on your face when your entire life becomes about revealing jesus and i say this very sincerely I've seen a bit of what God can do with a man when your heart is ever ready. My prayer every time I pray is that Lord, when men look at me, if I'm a true mirror, they should not see me. I said it yesterday. If you look at a mirror and you see another thing, that mirror is an object of divination. It's no longer a mirror. Because if you look at the mirror, it should reflect the object. Is that true? When people look at your life, they should think about Jesus beyond you. They may start by considering you. Wow, look at Victory Life Bible Church. Great church with great people. But at the end, something about the excellence that flows from it will draw them back to Jesus. And they say, so this is what God can do with a man. I'm saying it only to a believer. I'm saying it only to a receiver, not to a hearer. That if you found your way to this place, or you are connected in the name of Jesus, you must carry a potent testimony tonight back home. You must carry a potent testimony tonight back home in the name of Jesus. Testimonies are real. Testimonies are real. They are manifestations of the hand of God, the visitations of God by his word through his spirit in the life of his people are you ready for a change of story you are going to cry i will list out the prayer points and you will pray it's part of the miracle service so that where you have been found wanting giving allowance to satan giving allowance to these enemies 
to stop you from going forward you deal with them in the place of prayer after that you are ready to receive hallelujah the overflow outside listen I'm hearing in my spirit Jubilee let me tell you what Jubilee is Jubilee is an exodus after many years of captivity please listen listen we're praying we're praying there is the spirit of Laban is the spirit that never allows men to go it will encourage you with something to keep you small but it will never allow you go and have your own space it's a spirit that fights increase when Laban saw Rachel he liked her and he wanted to marry her but Jacob knew that if he marries her he will go away and he trapped her down he trapped him down and the man kept serving when it was time to carry his wife they exchanged the wife for Leah and the man stayed again many years the spirit of Laban you won't suffer but you won't rise that is the spirit of Laban you won't beg but you can't give because you are barely enough I pray for you any house you have found yourself physically and in the spirit that is tying you down not allowing you to rise to live destiny tonight I declare Jubilee I declare Jubilee I declare Jubilee I declare Jubilee be released to go forward be released to make progress be released to make progress in the name of Jesus Christ we've had the honor of doing so many things for the kingdom and even among the prisons and so many things wonderful things that we are doing for the kingdom and let me tell you the truth ladies and gentlemen if you forget everything that I've said here do not forget that everything we pray for everything we seek sincerely is not for the benefit of that thing in itself it is because it comes as a tool this is the correct understanding of prosperity correct understanding of the anointing correct understanding of ministry correct understanding of growth I desire this for the sake of your house I desire this for the sake of your name when I got to that point God began to help me in life began to help me in ministry there are several men and women of God scattered here and they will tell you that the point of transformation in their lives was when they got out of the way and replaced their pursuit with kingdom come and the revelation of Jesus the reason why you've been praying and saying Lord change my son is because you are more conscious of shame than the son being used to bring glory to God father you have to change this son I'm tired of being in shame and God says no shame is too small a reason to bring the resources of heaven and invest on that boy but the moment you say father my desire beyond my reputation is that through my life I can have the honor of giving you a vessel another body prepared for you you will be sleeping when God will wake somebody to intercede for one year for that child one day you will hear that that child who was a drunkard has now become a pastor you won't believe till you fall under the anointing in your own child's ministry that's when you will know God really found him listen let me tell you the easiest way to live the Christian life is to focus on revealing Jesus the easiest way to live the Christian life is to focus on revealing Jesus. I'm going to ask us to rise as we pray. Jehovah, arise in the name of Jesus. Move my destiny forward my destiny forward my ministry forward my life forward in the name of jesus in the name of jesus he said casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ are you ready to pray that every mentality 
that is in partnership with Satan leading to my defeat, leading to my retrogression by the power that raised Christ from the dead. We tear those thoughts down. We tear those strongholds down. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Cry like a believer. Wrong beliefs, negative thinkings, wrong beliefs, negative thinking, inaccurate mindsets, poor belief systems that are in partnership with Satan, in partnership with conditions, in partnership with spirits, keeping me down, keeping me poor, keeping me limited. I come against you in the name of Jesus. I come against you in the name of Jesus. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. It's an investment in your destiny. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, many of us, God is speaking to you saying, I want your life to be more exceptional than you even want it to be. But you have the epicenter of your destiny. There is nothing pro Jesus. There is nothing about the revelation of Jesus. I want power so that people will respect me. I want money so that people will not mock me. Let me tell you, those reasons may be sincere. But when you gauge that against the standard of the kingdom, men are not blessed and lifted and rewarded and honored just for the fun of it. Open up that door. We are still praying. Open up that Give way, give way by the spirit of the living God. Give way. Who is this king of glory? He says the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. I stand as one sent by God. That every force tying down destinies that will not let Ghanaians rise, will not let you shine in the name of Jesus, the captain of our salvation. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hallelujah. While still praying, the Lord is opening my eyes in the spirit, and I'm seeing the feet of people having chains, chains, not the hands but the feet. And they are unable to move in the name of Jesus. Everyone under the sound of Parakatosiata of my voice that has been held by chains of ancestry in the name of Jesus. Chains break, chains break, chains break, chains break in the name of Jesus. Chains break, chains break over destinies, chains break over families, chains break over businesses. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me that there are families that no matter how educated they are, the doors of employment never comes. So you find people within that family, but doors are not opening. I stand here tonight by the spirit of grace and prophecy. I don't know who that person is, but I declare that door opens for you now. Just hold him and, and delivering their families this is why they came therefore I decree and declare that every legal access that the devil has by the blood right now this moment that legal access is hereby broken 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 release their families now 
release their destinies now in the name of Jesus I speak to you by the spirit of grace that the calamities and the pharaohs the captivities that you have seen before now you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ I hear my spirit straining the weary this is particularly to men and women of God in ministry I sense in my spirit that there are men and women of God who are here but they are weary it looks like serving God does not seem to have any advantage again and some of you are about to give up the Lord is sending me to speak to you by the spirit please hear me I want you to know that the Bible says there is hope for a tree even if it be cut off, he said, at the scent of water. At the scent of water. I'm speaking to a man of God. You have come too far to give up. You may have walked in error, but the key is not leaving ministry. The key is having some time with Jesus. A reconsecration again. And to begin your work with Jesus with authenticity and genuine. For some, you may need to dissociate yourself from wrong, ungodly associations. But God is giving you a new beginning. By all means, a new beginning. You can follow us on all our social media handles at Fleming Channel. Also, visit our website at www.flemingchannel.com. Thank you and God bless you. When your life becomes about revealing Jesus to the nations, you don't have to be a preacher. But you see, the assignment of transformation is to turn believers to witnesses. For as long as you still remain a believer, there is only so much that can happen. You need that transition from a believer to a witness. It is until you become a witness, a valid of God's claim a promoter and a defender of his interest that is when you will see prosperity like you have never seen that is when you will see increase and influence like you have never seen there is no miracle or magic about God raising people and lifting people and promoting people but there is a, a non-emotional spiritual system of vetting your motif until God finds his purposes if that becomes the epicenter of your motive I tell you you can be in a bell kuta here God will raise a destiny helper from America and drag them to you even if you're in the village it is true men who never find help are men who don't love God they are not willing to serve him they just say it mechanically but God is not a fool he will subject you through a rigorous period of vetting that one I assure you it will not come to you as a gift he will test you one day he will say do you love me enough yes empty your account and you say I bind that spirit he says this is only a test all you have in your account cannot even fund your life it's not your money I'm looking for info when he told Abraham take thine only son it was not something Abraham could pray away there are things you can't pray away it is how men rise in the kingdom and the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now the price for life is death if you cannot die to yourself and to your ambition you have wasted the presence and the benefit of having Jesus can I tell you there are two kinds of cross that you need to carry one has been carried to you by grace but the other one you need to carry it by yourself your own cross we'll find somewhere to pray I promised us we're going to pray this morning sir I've studied a bit about the lifting and how God lifts and prospers people mysteriously. So you say, it is not true. There is a business that only you and God can do in the secret place. This one cannot be manipulated. You can fake many other things but not that one. It is God that supervises that process himself. It's not like he commissions another person who can manipulate the result and say this person passed. You know, we have all kinds of systems. We promote people who should not be promoted. This one is God that supervises himself. Lovest thou me more than this. When you say yes, he says, let's see. He doesn't hear yes, sir. 
he will test his love against your greatest desires i assure you be careful when you say lord i love you more than anything he loves that kind of prayer he would test it against that prayer i assure you he will test it against everything you only find him when you don't have anything else to hold ask jacob for as long as jacob still had many things he could not encounter the god of the bible he came to him in genesis 28 and when jacob did not encounter god the next that will happen was about 20 years of suffering in the house of laban when jacob was now frustrated in chapter 32 of genesis the bible says he dismissed his wives he dismissed his cattle when he was alone that man came again and said let me try you this time and jacob said i wasted that opportunity not again he held him and he said i would not he said leave me for the day break it he said i will not let you go unless you bless me i hope you know the man saying unless you bless me had cattle he had things that he threw away he was not talking of giving me money something more superior i want you to pray this one with all your heart let let it be with zeal and passion say father the spirit of procrastination let it be destroyed in my life now. Go ahead and pray. Destroyed. That spirit that keeps my destiny at a standstill through indecision, through procrastination, giving flimsy excuses, I come against you. It's a new season in ministry, in business, in destiny come on pray procrastination i come against you i obtain grace i obtain grace to move by making quality decisions prompt decisions destiny advancement decisions Aranda Gabraska Baleka Parotos Covrondo Baratusiata. Hallelujah.